This is the Huawei P10 and this is my review. Huawei have recently built some excellent phones, competing with the likes of Apple and Samsung. This newest model released earlier in the year strikes me as Huawei playing it safe. And that's okay. They've taken a good phone in the P9, added the specs of the Mate 9, sprinkled in some iPhone styling and added a dash of Samsung with the fingerprint navigation button. What's not okay and the only problems really which I have found, and this is a big one, they have not included an oleophobic coating on the screen. That is the smudge resistant coating you get with the majority of smartphones these days. It's not a complete deal breaker though. The P10 does come with a factory fitted screen protector. So whatever you do, do not remove it. The other problem is waterproofing or lack thereof. The P10 Plus is supposed to be water resistant. So Huawei, why not make the P10 water resistant as well? Even considering these problems, the P10 is a huge upgrade on the P9, even if the specifications do not show it. Since I have a P9, what really excites me about this device is the display. It is 5,1 inches with 1920 by 1080 pixels, slightly smaller than the 5,2 inch display on the P9, but the feel in the hand is much better thanks to the curved sides and ever so slightly narrower body. This really does fit perfectly in the hand. The fingerprint reader has been moved to the front of the device. It didn't bother me on the back, but here you can either use the traditional navigation button slightly above it or the fingerprint reader itself. Personally, I prefer the fingerprint reader. One tap is back, pressing down for about a second goes back to the home screen and sliding to the left to right opens all active apps. The EMUI interface is also actually pretty great, once you get used to it that is. My favorite part about this is a simple thing though, and made my initial migration from Samsung to the P9 actually quite difficult. Being that the P9 had a tiny space key. The P10 comes standard though with a space key about three times the size of the space key on the P9. And this is great for two reasons. One, you can actually use the spacebar. And two, Huawei have listened to some complaints and actually acted upon them. Maybe there is hope for waterproofing eventually. Huawei have marketed the phone quite strongly on the unique color schemes. And I must admit, the hyper diamond cut backing on the dazzling blue and dazzling gold models look absolutely superb. And this calf backing doesn't pick up fingerprints. The other colors, greenery, graphite black, rose gold, white ceramic, mystic silver, and prestige gold, they don't quite stand out as much, but they still look great. Okay, a quick rundown of the rest of the specs. The P10 has the latest Kirin 960 octa-core processor, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, as well as a microSD card slot, which is extendable to 256GB, a dual camera on the back, which is designed with Leica, one camera is 20 megapixels black and white, and the other 12 megapixels color. These together give you more detailed contrast, but I will focus a bit more on these in a separate review. 4K video can be taken at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. The camera is also stabilized with optical image stabilization and has an aperture of f2.2. The front camera is 8 megapixels and before I forget, there is a new feature called portrait mode Similar to the iPhone, here it blurs out the background from the foreground, but more on that in the camera review. USB is Type-C and it comes with a 3.5mm jack. Yes, you heard correctly, you can still connect your wired headphones to the P10. The battery is a 3200mAh battery and should manage a full day's use. I'll keep you posted on how that performs though. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech related videos like this one. I'm David and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.